Okay. Talia, first pick. Get rid of Vance, Moldervaris, Nico. Really, you're betting Nico? Fresco, he isn't even good at Nico. Oh, okay. We're just gonna. What, what is with Europe and just Zeri every fucking game? Okay, just play Jinx, please. Or Kaisa, fine. Just kill her in the back line. Fine. Volibear. Ari. Banning Rexai Nautilus. Okay, Renata. Ew, Zeri Renata Glask. That is a shit lane. I hope they like getting pushed in or dove by Volibear. Leona, hell yeah. Kill them. Murder them. I love it. Blind Cassante into Udyr. Okay. It's a bait, and the thing that you guys have to understand is that we just needed to test you to make sure that everybody was ready. That's right. That was not necessary. <laughs> the match of patients did not need to catch that yeah, straight. They're delirious. Yeah. Come on, this is okay. different. All right, all right, all right. You're right. You're right. You're working well. Be cool. Make always work for them. Which I think is good to see because that's it was an issue. Wait. So I have to see now. Noah's age is coming. I respect that you did not put his face on the tiny squirrel. That was <laughs> one. I'm still. I mean, I I like this. I mean, they have a lot of backline threat. In the lading phase, like the dives could be really sick with Razork here. Put more attention into the bottom side of the map, and just make sure. You know, like I, I, I mean, pre six, this Zeri Renata lane is just garbage. FlyQuest would take a fat dump on Fnatic. No, they wouldn't. Their bot lane would just send the game. Fnatic's bot lane is just, or FlyQuest bot lane is just too bad. They they do random shit. They like makes very shit game states. Why they go Glask there, please? Is she good against tanks? I don't know. I think it's bad. Because, like, the Kaisa can you she can dodge it and still get into your back line, even if you use ult. So, I'm not a big fan. Thing is, you are going to win at level 1 until Leona hits level 2. Is Lulu better here? I mean, yes, almost certainly. You don't have any peel, really, for the Zeri. Right, we just have to watch the Volibear. The Volibear should just murder everybody this game. I mean, the Volibear should have just crazy prio on the map because he can just fuck up Rel 1v1. Like, they win the 2v2 in top and mid, and they win the 3v3 in bot with Volibear. So, just Volibear does everything should be the name of the game. Okay. Level 3 Rel gank. No, 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 no. He can't. No flash. That's correct to die there. Okay, just kill bot. It's rather silly. Death. Volley 6 camp. The dash over the wall as the tether is still there does not bring Jun along with him. Razork here, bottom side moving through the brushes. Very powerful. And the thing about the Volibear we've just seen, it just takes over. Clear speed so good, early trading so good. But excellent window there that Elioya capitalizes on to find the first assist at the very least. As Razork takes away Scuttle, holds on to at least a one camp lead for now. A little bit more. You should be able to move up here, and we'll try and contest for a second scuttle. But honestly, with the way the wave is pressed in, might be a little bit difficult. And um, for Skelly though, over here, maybe they go for the two v two. But especially if you just—I actually don't know who wins this game, guys. 
Ilioia is going to be able to take his Raptors free set and then try and come back in off the map. Um, so I think again, it's going to be a case of the Ioia Double crab here for Razork. Ilioia now at. Maybe clear his croaks and then make his way to Fossil. Chicken respawn. Good opportunity there. As we see once again, well, parkour comes out for Super. Wolf, wolf respawn for Razork. Razork camp ahead. Nixie's. Nixie's. Nixies and GMK or Nixie San GMK. Thank you for your tier one sub. Ellie Spring was confusing. Minus Casey sucking. Yeah, this is bad. No LPL today. Nah. I got to watch some LEC. Talk about playoffs on SI tonight. We'll do some LPL, you know, later this week. Maybe we'll stream some. <gasps> Not League of Legends. Cooking? No, I need to get my stuff from the States. I won't get my cooking stream stuff until the end of May. Back to Korea. I've been meaning to play Pentiment. Maybe I'll play that or a story-based game. I've never played Hollow Knight. Me in time for the mukbang. No, the mukbang is over now. My Chipotle chicken burrito bowl, which was fucking delicious. Will we get more smoked briskets? No, I'm in Korea. My smoker's in the States. Continue to have Ayoya pressure in this bottom side of the map. It's impossible for Jun to actually go in. All he just gives his life and when Ayoya shows. I can't bring my smoker over, guys. Alright, am I a Bellatro enjoyer? I have not played Bellatro. There's a couple of games that uh I played Unavowed a while ago, and there's this the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Some of these like uh Wadget Eye adventure games are fun to play on stream. I've heard Hollow Knight is good. But Pentiment is a game I really have been wanting to play, so maybe we'll try that. You guys also love it when I play Crusader Kings, so... Tale of Two Brothers is good. Yeah, but I need... I would have to play that with my wife. Um, I played the other games by that dev. A way out, and um, it takes two. We're really good. About most of their games, watch it. I yeah, I played Unavowed on stream a couple years ago. One thing I don't like about Crusader Kings 3, though, is it, t it just takes a long time to get, like, the tech you need to get a single air, which is different than Crusader Kings 2. So it's it's harder to get the form of government where you need get your primogenitor. Because, like, it's very it can be very annoying to play that game when your kingdom just splits up every time your character dies. Have I played a, the classic called Maniac Mansion? Oh, hell yeah, man. Day of the Tentacle, Sam and Max Hit the Road. I fucking love those games. No, it's not about getting... It's having too many heirs, right? So your kingdom splits. That's the problem. Nice bit of 
I don't understand why we've had no action here in this bot lane. Especially now that Razork is six. Like, why can't we... Why can't we put some pressure on down south? Oh no. Oh, the bailout's so close. I like how Kaisa's just in base this whole time. And Zeri's in bot lane. We're just checking Banana Brush with our little faces. So this getting CC'd forever. That lion's only up a thousand gold, surprisingly. It's just very weird that we're like trying to vision control river a minute and a half. Like, what are, what are we doing here? It's literally a minute and a half before. It's two minutes before the next Drake. It's two minutes before the next Drake. I, what? What are they doing? Like, look at this. Okay, so there's 30 seconds until we get the Void Grubs back up for Fnatic, okay? We have three. We just all in the top side. We traded Ghost. He has no TP. He loses this trade. He gets chased out. So he's creating pressure in the top side. ADC isn't here. What? Why aren't we just trying to do this? Right? Like, you you actually have pressure in topside. There's no point in fighting for fucking Banana Brush right now and walking into all their CC with your little face. What the fuck? You know, Humanoid could have just walled them off at Grubs. What's going on top side? Why is Oscar in an under tower now? Now Humanoid's 1 HP. At least he has TP. Okay, we're flashing. Razork has no ult, though. Alright. Alright, fair enough. Okay, now now you can actually just get the grubs, surely. Oscar is trying to last long enough so he has TP. Supa's here. Dude, why is Noah always in fucking base? Why is Noah in base every time? He needs static shift. Okay, but instead of Noah actually walking to void grubs, he's going back bot. Oh. Noah just fucking living in base. Lose Void Grubs. Okay, we could have just gotten six Void Grubs or at least had a meaningful fight. Okay, now surely, surely, he said, surely what we do now is catch the wave here, wait for TP to come up, then we recall and we set up for a TP play onto Drake because it's okay. We whoopsied a little bit. Six Void Grubs aren't that important. But surely we use our double TPs to get a Drake, right? Right? Nope, we TP to mid lane. And we get charmed and we take a bunch of damage. And then, okay, Oscar has TP advantage now. And then, 
And then we set up for Drake. Yep, we sweep out the vision. The Wally Bear comes. Okay, we recall. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, we have TP. We're sitting in Fountain with TP. Yes. Yes, we like this. We clear up Banana Brush. Yep. And we get Drake. Okay. I was getting nervous there, guys. Uh-oh, I'm getting nervous again. Oh, nice. You catch Elio yet? Okay, just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Where, wait, where, where is Oscar in? Why is he TPing top? Just wait. Just wait, dude. Wait until they get out. What? Ah, ah, ah. It has 5,000 HP. Why are you TPing top? The wave isn't even at your turret. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. You're up, please. You fucking see, you see the Udyr. You see him. You know he doesn't have TP, but you know Ari has TP. You don't know where Ari is. You don't know where Ari is, but you know where the Udyr is. You know what this means, guys? That Mad Lions has done the smart thing and they put the, the person with TP into top lane. This has 5,000 HP. You have to wait. There is no threat on your plates. There is no threat to lose this wave. Ah! Uh... Just wait! Just wait! You see Udyr! It's inexcusable! You see Udyr! Well, I guess it was worth it because Cassante got a couple plates, guys. Ignore the fact that they lost like three, four waves of minions into this turret, that this turret will go down first. Well, I guess they traded plate for or tower for tower. Hashtag worth. Just some squeaky clean League of Legends, guys. Just some squeaky clean. LOL. For us to enjoy. What am I eating? I'm not eating anything anymore. Dag is trying to be me. Uh, yes, the Leona. Surely, what you need to defend this turret is a single Leona. Jesus Christ.
versus man who believes it's foreign. They're talking about <laughs> he did not oh, oh, boost the whole <laughs> that this whole thing and go ah, oh, I see. And this thing. Yeah, there's that, that thing. That thing. The nine yeah. stacker. I'm <laughs> Try and push themselves up into playoffs and against a team like Fnatic, this is exactly the lead. No, it just literally gets <laughs> trolled by Jun not body blocking charm. You press tab, realize the RE is 403, and go, ah, oh, I see. This, and this thing. Yeah, there's that, that, thing. that thing. The nine yeah. stacker. I'm going to be honest. It's it, 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 There's a lot of things you could hover there. We could just circle that whole, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole thing. Yeah, just, this is a problem. Just this, uh, this yeah. thing. Yeah, is just, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found it. <laughs> uh, sorry, bro. Good, good, good in there. Problem. <laughs> no, <you get> time. <laughs> Don't try. It won't let you. It wants you to draw circles exclusively, Jun. That is not where you will find safety or peace. He did not learn his lesson on the bottom tower. MBK are more than happy to oblige him and teach him a second time here. As Mirwin is also getting the top tower. How did this go so wrong? We we're so busy talking about how incredibly <laughs> overpowered Frescawi is at this exact moment. Dear Lord. But that was the problem was that because no had gotten chunks, they were What is the next summoning inside episode? It is in four hours. Live in four hours. Well, means he's here to protect Mirren from any volley bears that might show up. Skirin should be able to clear the wave though. So it won't quite be top terror, but still. Bwibo said on a hotline league is rumor that Fudge is on the chopping block. Good. I think I think Bwipo is just mind gaming Fudge though, because he just giga clapped him in their last head to head, and he's just mind gaming him before finals, making him think that he's in the hot seat. So as long as you keep people so pushed up to top end, you're pretty happy here at Madeline's Court. Definitely. Unfortunately, you had to give it up, but of course, three goes make this a little bit faster. How disappointed are you with the LCK all pros team? Are you going to stream your targeting, <laughs> targeted slapping spree? <laughs> I'll talk about it on SI tonight, dude. It's such bullshit. And this is where Madeline's Koi, they get to is Fudge not the longest serving C9 top at this point? So Fnatic trying to contest at the moment, but you can see... Was he? Longer than Impact? Yeah, balls probably was longer actually. You can see you're not allowed in this jungle right now because of how much MDK control and with the amount of money are Mirwin's going in. He thinks he's cool because he's Udir, but he's just eating every Q. Oh. What actually happened there? It's crazy he didn't get that kill. He didn't check any of his autos. Oh, he second guessed himself. Yeah, I think Mirwin gets that if he doesn't second guess himself.
I think the mistake here was Ryzark going for Red Bush. I think he should have reset and actually tried to get out onto the map again so then he can try and push in mid, threaten the tier one in mid with the Rift Herald. But now with the position that you're in, the late reset means that Mirren gets to push boss. You're going to get Dragon here. Supers managed to shove in mid. And there's not really a massive threat anywhere on the map for Fnatic to really trade if you go for Dragon. And even the Madeline's Koi, they're faking the Dragon. They're going to go for Humanoid. He's no Flash. Humanoid caught on the side. A bit of vengeance after the last play. Mirwan should have enough damage to finish this off. And if he does... You go I like how they just four-man bang him on this side. Dragon. They're going to go for Humanoid. He's no Flash. Humanoid caught in mid. And there's I mean, they know... Like, see the they know Volbear is on top side, so it's a very safe dive. They see him on the ward, so it's just free. Okay, straight to Drake. Overloading the side of the map. Yeah, and it was just playing off of the assumptions Fnatic had made. You assume the dragon is going to be where Madeline's Koi go for next, but they're kind of like, here, look, let's be real. An ocean toll isn't really our win condition here, but for Skelly getting caught. Razork Thundering Smash goes in. Noah leaps out. For Skelly. My god, the flash into the alt. The Spear Rush takes him to safety. Noah dangerously close to killing him. One more item, one more dagger, one more long sword. Probably would have done it. The Herald charging, spinning, 360-ing. It's a little bit confusing now. Is the Leona finally going to get into the midst of the fight? Hostile if only the Leona had been there to appeal for Noah, then they just win this fight. But Leona decided to take a trip in the Herald instead. Ah, yes, and now Supa gets bailout. Okay, guys, let's talk about this. So you get a knock-up, but the Leona being in here means that Alvaro can just go ahead and flash ult these two. Which then forces Noah's flash. Dude, Sue actually plays as well. Flashes over to get the bailout. Sue played that well. But getting into the Herald right there. is pretty fucking troll. It's also a very late TP from Cassante. Position. He's continued to push on forward, but the big thing you have to keep an eye on is watch it the bailout. Oscar is trying to time it for the second that it goes down, but he actually messes up ever so slightly. So that then Super is able to flash forward, get the reset onto the Leona, and from that point forward, you just can't touch him. He's getting so many dashes in the back line. And MDK are just very nicely done by Super, I think. Good damage, but he's got another dash. Spear rush forward onto Noah. Another, this is they're just slaughtering Fnatic. Fnatic stepping too far forward. Humanoid. Noah getting chunks taken out of him has been a, a very big problem this game because he keeps the team keeps losing pressure because he gets chunked out or dies. I mean, part of this was Fnatic just being super greedy with TPs, playing the map badly. Humanoid's already used all of his CC. Jun tries to throw down the solar flare, and Humanoid's just gonna drop. 
Yeah, it's very weird that we didn't see any action in the bot side in the early parts of this game. Part of that was Humanoid, like, randomly dying at level 3, but... I, I think I think Mad Lions played this pretty well, but I mean it was really just inaction on the part of Fnatic and like opting into weird five versus fours or four versus fives. If Fudgen swapped to mid that one split, he'd have the most served time served as C9 top. He is literally equal with Balls and Licorice at two years, ten months. So thank you, Adanium. Alright, G2 